love it or leave it. Georgia Congresswoman and sentient Facebook comment Marjorie Taylor Greene called for a national divorce this week, tweeting, we need to separate by red states and blue states and shrink the federal government. We were planning to just make a few jokes about this and move on, but then we found Greene herself holed up in the printer room at our office, shredding USB cords with her teeth and snarling like a raccoon. (laughs) We managed to lure her into a humane trap with a picture of a Slim Jim, and after testing her for both COVID and rabies, we've decided to release her back into the wild on stage tonight. Please welcome Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh no, my God. My... Did you get that bad? All right, all right. Call the police! All right. I've been abducted by Antifa radicals, and my lawyers will be seeking the death penalty. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. All right, please, please, please. Thank you. Uh, we just took you to the vet to get your fleas under control. Uh, you, on the other hand, broke into the crooked office and not our Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. I had no choice, John. George Soros was using it to communicate with John Lewis about how to steal the next election. I've got two words for you. International Space Station. Uh, <laughs> Marjorie, John Lewis died in 2020. That's what they want you to think. Okay, uh, look, uh, uh, I'm not getting dragged into this bad shit nonsense. We have to talk about some different bad shit nonsense. Marjorie, you angered a lot of people this week by tweeting that you think we need a national divorce. Mm-hmm. Would you like mm-hmm. to take this opportunity to walk that back or maybe even apologize? You can shove your opportunity up your woke California dick hole. <laughs> if you still got one. Nope, for sure, that's, that's sort of what I figured. <laughs> I meant what I said. This union? This union? Which sounds like onion, but his union is friggin' over. Blue states, pack up your Trader Joe's totes. You can keep your little drag brunches and your Holocaust museum. All right. Oh, what a fun field trip. Red states will take patriotism and the military. We want Christ and Christmas, and y'all want to suck off Canada. (laughs) Everybody's happy. Let's sign these papers right now. Hold on. Okay. Why do red states get the military? You're the ones trying to secede. Don't you think the military, don't we get the military in the divorce? The military wants to live with us, John. You can ask them. Don't turn this into some big old custody battle. Uh, Do you, hmm. Do you mean custody battle? That's what I said! Fine, okay, but if you get the military, blue states get all the other loose guns. No, 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 no. We're taking the guns, okay? <laughs> That's a non-negotiable. Come on, you don't even like guns. You would just store them responsibly. <laughs> and where's the fun in that? It's the principle of the thing, Marjorie. Red states can't take everything. All right, fine. Okay, what do you gay-ass soy states want? <laughs> libraries? Fine, take the libraries. All right. And the hospitals, psh, take them. I don't even know why we have those puppies. When I don't feel good, I just make a nice hot cup of tea and throw it through the mail slot of AOC's office door. <laughs> and mail slot is also what I call her. All right, listen. We'll take the libraries and the hospitals, but that's only a start. We're keeping the writers and the artists and the comedians, obviously, at least take the good them. ones. You can have the Dilbert guy and diners. We brought those to this marriage, and we're taking them with us. And cowboy hats, both queer and original flavor. Wait, this is, Marjorie, what am I saying? The United States is not getting a divorce. Fine, fine. Take Taylor Swift and half the bald eagles. We want all the bald eagles. And also deep fried Oreos. I will slit my own throat before I let that happen. (laughs) Look, we're never going to be able, (laughs) we're never going to be able to divide this country up fairly, Marge. Can't we just try to work this out for the kids? They're already so depressed. That's fake news. All right. I have three children. Yep. I have three children. Exactly the right. And none of them have said a word to me about feeling sad lately. Or about anything else, really. Uh, And the second of all, I just don't see the point. The love is gone, John. All we do is argue. Liberals are already sleeping on the garage futon and moved his motorcycle into storage. Let's just make it official. Marjorie, is is everything okay? Everything's fine! I'm talking about America. But but are are you though? Fine, John. Make this about me. 
I got a divorce, okay? And it was the best decision my husband, I mean me. <laughs> it was the best decision I've ever made. I've never been happier. Oh, okay. All right, insurrectionist Cassie from Euphoria. <laughs> it's like my therapist. I have one. <laughs> 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 Always said before she fired me for eating all her little decorative glass pebbles and calling Amy Klobuchar a hyena in kittens. <laughs> kitten heels. Kitten heels. But I do believe Amy would skin a kitten and wear it as a heel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure. Marjorie, some people aren't built to share a home with other human beings or even live in civilized society. That's what my therapist would say. And she was absolutely right. And I think it applies to America as a whole. But that sounds pretty you specific, actually. Divorce is what this country needs, John. <laughs> Red states are sick of living under outrageous rules they never agreed to, like, be nice to trans kids, or don't fuck your CrossFit instructor. Marjorie. <laughs> I don't want to call you selfish because I think that would be an understatement, but it sounds like you're calling for a civil war based on your personal marital problems. And it's working, John. It is? I'm so broken <laughs> and awful that all I can do is wake up and think of ways to get people like you riled up. <laughs> and you all take the thing. <laughs> you all take it. You get on Twitter. <laughs> I'm angry and scared and use politics as a way of venting what are ultimately matters that can only be solved with a long, hard look in the mirror. <laughs> but I'm not visible in mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> On account of the deal I made with that swamp witch. Right, famously, yeah. The point is, it's easier for me to imagine the destruction of this whole country than it is for me to conceive of a happier and less toxic life. And even this is more honest than I could ever be with myself. Huh. Huh. Therapy. therapy. This, this has been, been an ad, ad for therapy. therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene, everybody. Let's get you back in your crate. Oh,